We're asked to find the equation of a sine wave that is obtained by shifting the graph of the basic sine function y equals sine x, graphed here in red, to the right two units, down five units, and vertically stretched by a factor of three. Which means our goal is to find the equation of this blue sine function here. Notice how because the basic sine function is shifted down five units, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero, it is y equals negative five, because the graph is also shifted right two units, instead of starting the graph of the sine function at the origin like we normally do, we start at x equals two, and because the period is not changed, we have one complete graph of the sine function from x equals two to x equals two plus two pi, and then finally because the graph is vertically stretched by a factor of three, the amplitude is no longer one, the amplitude is three. Let's find the equation of the blue sine function in the form y equals a sine of b times the quantity x minus d plus c, where the absolute value of a is the amplitude, two pi divided by b is the period, d indicates a horizontal or phase shift, where if d is positive, the graph is shifted right d units, and if d is negative, the graph is shifted left the absolute value of d units, and then finally c indicates a vertical translation, a vertical shift, where if c is positive, the graph is shifted up c units, and if c is negative, the graph is shifted down the absolute value of c units. So because the amplitude is three, and there's no reflection across the midline, a is equal to positive three. Because the period remains two pi, and two pi divided by b is equal to the period, b is equal to one. Because the graph is shifted right two units, d is positive two, which means we'll have x minus two here. Because the graph is shifted down five units, c is negative five. And therefore the graph of the blue sine function is y equals three sine of, again because b is one we can leave it off, we will just have sine of the quantity x minus d, which in our case is x minus two. And then for plus c, instead of writing plus negative five, let's just write minus five. This equation will give us the graph of the basic sine function after it is shifted right two units, down five units, and vertically stretched by a factor of three. I hope you found this helpful.